Hello everyone. I'm joined today by a good friend of mine who I've been meaning to get on for a while now. Uh, Granny the Toe Lord, aka Granny Toes, aka Christopher Nelson's number one fan, uh, is joining me today. I've been meaning to have him on for a while, so it's great that uh, we're finally doing something together. And what we're talking about today is super interesting. He just posted about it yesterday, and it absolutely blew my mind. Uh, and so we're going to be talking a bit about that today. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Ready to talk about something yeah. a little wacky? So this is a fairly interesting misprint I've come across. I'm not actually the one who bought this in hand. A friend of mine has. It was actually quite funny. I was just getting him like two years ago is when I acquired this. Made a post about it a long time ago, but I don't think anybody saw it. Nobody responded to it. I'm like, what? It's so cool, though. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he, I got him into the EU. Uh, I think the first thing we actually read together was the Bane trilogy. Okay. I think nice. it was very positive experience. And then All after of the that, greatest friends introduce their friends to the Bane trilogy. Is that just the thing? Is that yeah. the thing everyone does? Honestly, I think it, it's perfect. It's so fast paced. Like it's very hard to lose interest in that first book. For sure. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, yeah, then we go on to reading the Dark Lord trilogy, then uh, eventually the Thrawn trilogy, and we never actually got to this trilogy, but we intended to right after Thrawn, but we ended up reading Courtship and other stuff. Okay. But, uh, so he bought these physical copies, and he was only, he cracked it open one day, and he realized that it wasn't really um, Jedi Academy, instead something a little more special. Stephen King. <laughs> but the thing that makes this so nice is that it's not even the whole book is entirely Stephen King. It only goes to about page 24. <laughs> page 24, you have a whole entire Stephen King novel. Says it right here. It, <laughs> it doesn't really want to focus, but, you know. And then here. it just continues on to Jedi Search. And just uh this page alone is really funny to see Stephen King Jedi search back to back is yeah. really good. It's really good. I want to see. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can pick. Yeah, it. I can see that. That's, that's incredible that it just says Stephen King Jedi search. In a way, uh, this canonizes quite a bit to the EU. Maine. <laughs> we now have a map of Maine in Star Wars. What's more to love than that? What is more exactly. to love than that? There's a few other printing quirks that are unique to this one. I think every single, at least of like the original run of the mass market paperbacks, all have a little issue on the binding. All mm. of my originals had it, and my friend who got the originals also have it, in which it's not perfectly aligned on the side, but this is a lot more yeah. like intense than it normally would have. You can actually see the Star Wars logo wraps around to the front, which is. I have a normal. I have a New Jedi yeah. Order book that does that. Really, I haven't. Yeah. I've never got an NJO misprint like that. Yeah, very minorly, it's very hard to see, but the whole text blurb is just slightly crooked. Mm. It's very strange. It's a lot easier to see if I. Is the text next to each slightly other. different from the Stephen King section to the? Um, it looks like, search, let me search, just take search. another look at it. Um, it looks like the font is just slightly bigger, but everything generally mm. is the same. Yeah, you can see a comparison here. It's a little darker. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's about it. But the font is, uh, it's almost seamless just when it goes into it. It just becomes a little tinier once you get to Jedi Search on page mm. 25. And there's only two other things of note that are issues with this. Um, the mail-in to buy a three-book cycle by Timothy Zahn, Heir to the Empire, gets cut off at the very bottom by just <laughs> one word. Yeah, authorization. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm well aware. And one other issue, just as minor, just as minor, but interesting to me, is that there's just a single little print guy right here. So hard to notice, but just some black ink. Wish so it was like the box on. or something like that up yeah, there. Yeah, and it's the only page it's on too. The second, like, it didn't like it printed on multiple pages. It's completely clear, yeah. and then there's just something there. It's very hard to make out, but you it's can see it kind of on the top of the book, huh? Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, actually, no, you can't. I actually thought you did. I thought that's how I found it. I guess I just didn't find it that way. But yeah, it's kind of imperceivable. Interesting. But the one thing that makes me laugh at this is just how worn this book is, too. People yeah. have read this. <laughs> Do you think they were confused? Possibly. I think they possibly were. But they read it anyway. Like, this is a used book. I mm -hmm. think the only thing that would make it better if it had, a, like, a library sticker on it to really say <laughs> that it's more used, you know? Do you want to read uh, the paragraph that transitions into Jedi Search? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Page 24. Let's see. Oh, it's a long paragraph. I'll start in the middle of it. It goes, that was Vera's rule, and it sat all right with me. I thought it was hard, but I thought it was fair. If you told twice which racks she wanted the bacon put in after it came out of the oven, bacon spelled B-A-K-I-N, interestingly hmm. enough. I don't know if that's just like an old English thing or just a straight up typo, but that's that's a thing. And not ever to stick it in the kitchen windowsills to cool like shanty Irish wood diplomatic clothing she had worn all day. This morning it had been crisp and bright, but the fabric lost its vigor after too much time under the rainbow lights of the grand audience chamber. <laughs> that was the Jedi search portion. <laughs> yep, that's thanks. such a great uh, switch. It's absolutely seamless. Absolutely seamless. I don't think anybody would really know. And I think the map of Maine will really help with the main story. Truly. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's where they that's where they found Kip oh, in yeah. Maine. You know? And it's the... It's just so fun, too, because just when you open it right away, it still has, you know, the cover yeah. printings, and then yeah, it yeah. goes on to, you know, accolades for Stephen King's writing. <laughs> you know, Jedi Search, it's seductive, <laughs> suspenseful, you know? <laughs> no. I mean, Unforgettable. Everyone, Stephen King is a magnificent storyteller. Ev everyone has said uh, that of Kevin J. Anderson's Jedi everyone. Academy Trilogy. I believe Matt Wilkins wrote this one, a literary triumph. <laughs> that would add up. That would add up. Oh, he loves he loves his Kevin J. Anderson, let me tell you. Yeah. That's pretty much everything that's this book here mm -hmm. entirely. That's just so wild to me. And uh, when we were doing some research into it to see um, what else we could find about like Stephen King – works being within Jedi Academy, like how widespread was this um, mistake, this error? Only one result. There's And we um, only found one Reddit post, and so I'm going to try to pull that up now. Oh, now I can't find it, which is great. Yeah, I think <laughs> just keep the keywords really general. I think it's just a Jedi Apprentice, Stephen King, misprint, enter. That works. <laughs> I think it was we'll the see. first result. But I'm surprised there's not more people talking about having this because the misprint is exactly the same. This isn't just a one-off. It has the same exact printing on the outside, the same misalignment, and it only goes till page 24. So, so that means maybe, there must be yeah. a couple of copies. So it wasn't like a one-of-a-kind like issue, like failed mm -hmm. print that got sent out by accident. Maybe there's a few copies. Like Clearly, this was printed multiple times, at least. Mm -hmm. There has to be at least a couple floating out there. Yeah. Now, what's interesting is I found a sold eBay listing um, that says um, Stephen King, as in wrote Jedi Search. Really? You found an eBay listing for that? I didn't come it's across sold. that. sold. Sold. Huh. It's a sold eBay are listing. You not are you not able to access like the original like link for it? Is it already expired? It's already expired, yeah. But it has the keyword Stephen King Jedi search. Does it say how much it went for? Uh, it went for five dollars plus seven shipping. But I imagine mm. they didn't think it was um yeah. anything of note. I don't know. I could get a solid five bucks out of this bad boy. Right. <laughs> yeah, you could uh, buy the whole trilogy if you sold that one. Wasn't it like back in the day? It was like five four ninety nine US five ninety nine Canada would have been yeah, the price for this. That's yeah. a profit. So yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a whole dollar over for me. I cannot find the Reddit post anymore, and really I searched cute. in the same thing I did. So Let me if see. you can find it, uh, yeah, I should be able to bring it up. Yeah, thank you. 
I just think misprints are so interesting because the only time I'd ever heard of such a thing was with the Witchfire Crystal Star thing, where mm -hmm. all of Crystal Star was printed in Witchfire and all of Witchfire was printed in Crystal Star. Yeah. Which Christopher Nelson covered pretty extensively. That was yeah. kind of interesting. Did he do a video specifically on it? I think he did. Okay, because yeah. I remember them talking about it in uh, Matt, one of Matt Wilkins' streams, and that was the information I got from it. Yeah, it is not actually coming up for me either on my... You see, I mean, I found it on my phone, so it should be in my history, so I should be able to just get the link from that. I literally okay. read it, uh, read the post, like, yesterday, because I looked it up after what you said, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not coming up for me either. There we go. This was uploaded in 2015. There we go. I got it. I got it. You got it. Okay, nice. Yep. Let me just get the link. I'll just send it through Discord so we can both access it on computers. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, it's just not coming up in search on my PC. Oh, Thank that's you. That, very strange. They're suppressing the information. Yep, they're trying to hide it. They know they've been found. Yeah. It's the Holy Grail of Star Wars books. Stephen King writing a Star Wars book. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All right, here it is. All right. Jedi search printing error. Has anyone else seen this? And like you said on your copy, it wraps around the front a little bit. Yep, in the same exact way. Same exact way. So it's definitely yeah. a, a machining error. There's someone in the comments who talks about, like being a book binder and i think he's talking about doing it by hand which i don't think which would really apply to it but that's the only mm -hmm. explanation we currently have <laughs> that's it it's just so funny that uh let's see if i can get this image here um will, will it still screen share this uh yeah I'll share this tab instead um it's so interesting because it, it's, it's just so funny that all of a sudden it's reviews for a different book on the inside. Yeah, that's it's great. I mean, and, and the way that it's Kevin J. Anderson and Stephen King. Yeah, like, side by side. That was like the best thing. It was, it's so yeah, funny. it was, uh, yeah. <laughs> that like, was the best at, part. Stephen King, Jedi Search. <laughs> look, at, look at the bottom review. The all time master of horror has turned out a piece of genuine literature, a finely wrought work emphasizing oh. character. I mean, that's Kevin J. Anderson's Jedi Search. Oh, yeah. A dark and brooding tale of the psychological underbelly of a bad marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we don't need to go that hard on them. And look, yeah. Look, friggin' Han and Leia aren't that bad, man. I know they might <laughs> neglect their kids a little bit in the EU, but they got Chewie sure. to be a space nanny for them when they're gone. Yeah. Like, come on. They're not exactly. that bad. <laughs> yeah. I just think it's so funny that it just transitions over. Like, this page here... Which you were showing us. It's yeah, just so it funny. Right on over. It's just, it, it's the thing that just really gets me about this is that it's not even the full book. Because I am familiar with misprints in which, like, the wrong cover was put on yeah. entirely, or the, the whole book is just something entirely different, or maybe the whole thing's just misaligned, mm -hmm. filled with, like, blotches. I've never encountered one that's, like, half of one book, half of another. Yeah. Honestly, I wish there was more Stephen King, really. I do. <laughs> it's kind of a bummer. That's we only get twenty four pages of it. Half and half. Yeah. Just keep so, going until you get a better transition into Jedi Search, where it's completely are, and totally seamless in every way. Are you that a in the real Holy Grail? For sure. Are you a KJA Jedi Academy trilogy fan? I'm gonna have to reread them. I only mm -hmm. I read them only ever once, right after I read the Thrawn trilogy for the okay. first time. That was like because if you didn't like in it, twenty eighteen maybe. If you uh, didn't like it, and would the 24 pages of Stephen King help elevate the trilogy? I think for specifically someone of Noah's caliber, I think it really would. I think it really <laughs> would. I hear he's quite the fan of Stephen King. In fact, mm -hmm. when he's not talking about Star Wars, it's usually just Stephen King. Yeah. <laughs> so, and he's, he's, yeah. Also, uh, he's also quite the Kevin J. Anderson fan, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really, it's a double whammy for him. He probably didn't even realize. He was like, wow, this is the greatest Kevin J. Anderson product I've ever seen in my life. It was so nice of Stephen King to make a guest star appearance and write the first 20 or so pages of Jedi Search. Oh, yeah. You know? It's like when George Lucas wrote the prologue for Shatterpoint. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. 
It's pretty good. Just, you know, George Lucas yeah. is like, I'll throw you a bone, but now it's over here like Kevin J. Anderson's like, yo, I'll throw you a bone. You're in a Star Wars book, everyone's going to read your book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's just, it's it's so wacky, and it's crazy that there's at least two known copies, but how many do you think there could be overall? Like, I how don't. isolated an incident would it have to be? It it doesn't make much sense that there's that Reddit post is like the only existence that this exists at all. Like it, it's bizarre to me, especially since it has the same exact like printing entirely yeah. on the spine and whatnot. Could like, could could the post be your copy? How long ago did you get this one? About two years ago, I think is what I said earlier. Yeah, two years ago is when I acquired so it. So it could have exchanged hands to you. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. 100%. It definitely went through a lot of people. I mean, this thing is worn. I didn't create these creases. You know, I look at it just to laugh at Stephen King being in Star Wars, really. That's yeah. <laughs> I mean, so do you think that there are multiple copies? I really do, yeah, because it seems like it's a factory issue. So mm -hmm. there definitely should be a couple out there. The fact that they're even in rotation and that there is more than one tells me that there should be a lot more. Mm -hmm. Because if it was as simple as like, oh, it's a printing error, and then they caught it, and then it just somehow accidentally got into rotation, I feel like it would normally just be like one. Yeah. 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 Like someone had a copy, and he's like, oh, check this out. Here, take it, I guess. You know, I don't do anything with it. And then it just later makes its way. It gets lost. It gets found. You know, it gets mm -hmm. stuck to a library. I don't know. It just starts traveling around yeah. the whole world. But yeah. once again, two of the copies, same exact printing issue. They came out of the printer like this, and they shipped like that. There yeah. has to be more. There, there has, has to be. be. And if Christopher Nelson's watching, I'm sure he's going to intend on finding it. Oh, he'll hunt it down. He'll find it. Yeah, he will. He'll find it, like, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow he'll be like, yeah, I have two. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. kitty. <laughs> yep, cat cameo. I, I'm cat certainly cameo. looking for it now. Mm -hmm. So the telltale sign is a slight bit of the cover on the spine. Yeah, you'll be able to – yeah, yeah. if it's just the front cover, you'll be able to see Star Wars from the spine kind of bleed over to it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'll be definitely a lot easier to identify it from the back, honestly. If, okay. You know, if it's like, I don't know, for some reason you can't see that, you'll see that there's just a very uneven chunk of nothingness on yeah. either side, and it's just kind of slightly crooked would mm -hmm. be the biggest sign of it. But honestly, they, they're probably like – I doubt you're going to be selling a book without at least flipping through the pages briefly yeah. just to say, like, oh, you know, no creases. We're good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I, I feel like they're definitely going to mention the fact that, yo, Stephen King's in here. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be kind of hard to miss as a seller unless you just, like, you know. Oh, yeah. Just have it. Never opened it. Never acknowledged it. So, yeah, okay. I guess I'll just pop <laughs> off. Yeah. I mean, it's just so crazy to me. Um, and I'm still just kind of wowed by the whole thing. I'm definitely going to be looking for this now. Mm -hmm. um, and it begs the question, do you think this happened to other um, Star Wars books? Like, this is Bantam, so it's older printing. Yeah. You know, I'm not entirely certain because I, I feel like the quality control, you know, there's not a lot of accounts of, like, bad printing issues when it comes mm. to Star Wars books. You have the Crystal Star one. We have this one. I'm unaware of any others. There's a couple like just bleeding over to the sides and whatnot, or mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. maybe there's just gets blotchy and some of the ink is just like applied yeah. a little too much. It's harder to read, but you know, those are like all standard mass market paperback issues. You know, this is like mm -hmm. a genuine like something actually went wrong, straight up mistake. You know, not just like your normal margin of error. So, and there's not mm, a lot that I know of that ended up like that, at least for Star Wars, either from Delray or Bantam. I mean, the only ones I could think of were just the two I mentioned. They were both in Bantam. Yeah. So possibly yep. better luck in Bantam, you know? It's older than the Delray. Older, yep. You know? <laughs> There's something there. There's something there. But I don't know. Sure. I'd have to find it. I'd like to honestly, like, see if we could try to put together a little, like, database of just misprints, see if we can track them. Oh, for sure. That would be really helpful. Yeah. I've, I've just be been nice. looking up to see, like, about years... For the release of the Stephen King novel that's in it, oh, it that's was right. released in uh, 1992. Yeah, but Jedi Search one... was 94. Yeah, I think actually it said 94 in the little like legal page. No, yeah. actually in the legal page for the Stephen King portion of things, it says first signet printing, December 1993. Okay. 
it says uh, illustrations copyright 1993 and a whole lot of other 1993s that seems to be the only year in the little legal page interesting because jedi yeah. search didn't come out until 94 that is true, yeah. So but, it's the Do Dolores Claiborne um, yeah. legal information. Yep, that is entirely. So there's no legal information for the Jedi search portion in that book? No, I was kind of hoping maybe this would just be one of those weird ones that puts it in the back so I'd have both of them. Yeah. But I don't. I mean, I have the original copy, and they look both look like they're original printings. I could actually mm -hmm. just grab that right now and compare it. See what it that says. means it's not licensed to um, George Lucas. Is that what that means? Wouldn't wouldn't it mean that? Because does aren't uh, ban even Bantam books had like a little licensing page where it mentioned created by or based on characters created by George Lucas. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah, if it's so. only Dolores Claiborne's legal information, mm -hmm. that means it's to a different publishing. Well, not different publishing well, houses, but different people. I guess the question uh, is, people. does Bantam handle, did they handle Stephen King's books at one point? I don't know. Because well, that, that would just kind of be the end-all, be-all. Because really, it's just, all the, all this really means is that, once again, Stephen King is just the first portion of the book, so we wouldn't even have the normal legal page as is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it would just be his legal page, and that's it. On the Wikipedia page, it says that it was only published by Viking. Viking? So... Is, Va is Viking, I'm looking now to see if it's a subsidi subsidiary of it. Viking mm -hmm. is a subsidiary of Penguin Random House. Do they oh. own Phantom? Random House, That they, they make Star Wars. Random House, uh, they just recently became Random House World under Disney, actually. Okay. Yeah, uh, if you've ever listened to the audio books, it always like starts and ends with like a Random House production. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, they're definitely, yeah, if they're both under Random House, then yeah, they, they both handle the same printing then. I'd imagine. So I wonder how the I mean, files ended they up in the same book. So, <laughs> Did, were multiple publishers um, working in the same printing press? I'd imagine like, so. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd imagine it just like save time and money. Like you wouldn't. Yeah. I doubt you'd have like True. different factories. A Viking before, place yeah. and a Bantam. Place. You know, you get yeah. all of you know. Hey, we're gonna print like one hundred thousand copies of this thing. You get your hundred thousand copies done, and then yeah. up next, up oh, Stephen King. You know. Yeah. Something like that. A couple got tangled mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Do you think yeah. that in the Stephen King novels, like you had the first twenty-four pages of Jedi Search? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Uh, actually, that Reddit post. If you do want to bring that back up, there is an interesting comment in there, which I don't think perfectly applies to this scenario because I think this is all machine-made. But um, here, let me open up this link. Someone was talking about you got it manually. Here we go. Yeah, so someone says um, that they're a part-time bookbinder six years ago, and so I can tell you what happened. This is a perfect bound book. When we perfect bind books, we take the paper and cut it to size and run the actual book through a machine that glues the cover to the book. The first couple of books are always off-center because it takes a while to calibrate the binder hmm. to thousands of an inch sometimes. Usually the first couple are redone or tossed since they look bad, but whoever was watching this job thought it was fine enough to ship. If the paper inside is off center, it probably means it was a ketchup book, like a Hail Mary to fill order, which is interesting. But also, um, they don't mention the Stephen King side of things until a few comments mm. later. It seems like they just simply didn't look at that yeah. a little bit later. Um, sorry, my Reddit is just not functioning. I click read more and it just doesn't load it. But yeah, you have it on your screen. Uh, yeah, they mention it. it. says, yeah, I'm guessing the one person was binding the Star Wars job and another person was binding mm. the Stephen King job. And they just dropped the pages unbound and then it got shuffled. Wow. But I don't think that's the case at all. Because one, I kind of doubt when you're making as many Star Wars books as you are, you're going to be using manual labor for that yeah. kind of stuff. You know, also, side note, dropping it and... How how did together. you keep the like, pages in the same order? Yeah, how how do you manage to do it perfectly? First twenty four Stephen King, the rest 
Jedi yeah. apprentice, you know? And it's in order. Every page yeah. is in order. And if they're both, like, sitting in their factory line just going to town making these books, I feel it'd be very easy specifically for them to catch the fact that, whoa, this font is way smaller. Whoa, this font yeah. is way bigger. Like, Plus, they would be the people least, to recognize that. Cause there's at least two there. copies, too. Yeah. Yeah, Which there's at least two copies out it's there. It's not an isolated incident. Yeah, so it, yeah, that, that, that's true. Two copies, so it definitely wasn't a one off thing. It's definitely the machine printed error. This is absolutely true. so wild. Um, I like the top comment where it says your goal should be to get it signed by Stephen King with a May the Force be with you quote. Oh, yeah, I'm totally going to steal that guy's idea. 100%. I'm going to be tracking down where that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> well,. This is just so fascinating to me. Um, do you have any plans to sell it, or is that like part oh, of your I'm collection forever? It. That is mine. That is mine. Yes, it is. So that's a holy grail, the mm -hmm. holy grail of your collection. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. That or maybe the uh, Amazon Heart of the Jedi is quite special to me. I'm very happy very I got on that train before it disappeared. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm always surprised how many people weren't aware of it. Yeah, you know, we actually did a pretty good job of keeping it just within the EU community for so long because that yeah. thing lasted. It went for like almost like I think Dylan was recounting it. It was like two yeah. months it was on there before anyone even realized mm -hmm. it was there, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then it just appeared spontaneously on someone's Amazon and it started getting shared around and it didn't get down until like Eckhart's Ladder made his video on it. So mm -hmm. only at that in, point. It was in May of 2021. And I yeah. saw the post on the expandeduniverse.com and I clicked on the link expecting like a Rick Astley video to pop up or something. I didn't really? believe it. I was like, <laughs> yeah. this is a really late April Fool's joke. And then when I actually saw it, um, the first thing I did is just I, I ran to my mom and was like, please, 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 we've got to get this. This is not going to last. And so... Uh, Sure. I'm that. just trying to make dinner. I don't know what you're talking about. Just go go ahead. Do your thing, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Star Wars? Okay, sure. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. At least you're reading. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. But yeah, the Heart of the Jedi thing was really wild. And yeah, that was a very cool time to be a Star Wars fan. That was really exciting. Seeing I've... everyone get excited over like proper old EU, like it was a new yeah. story. People like consuming it for the first time too, since it was yeah. such like you, you just had to know Joe before, prior to like mm -hmm. know it even really existed. He was like yep. the only way to read it, just on his website. He had a limited time release. I know there's I'm, many uh, people who don't like digital reading compared yeah. to physical. Yeah, I uh, recently started getting into e-readers, which uh, first off, I'm shocked that that e-ink thing is totally worth the hype. It is not like looking at a screen at all. No fatigue, no long yeah. fatigue. Blows my mind, but uh. Christopher Nelson, I remember, shortly after all the Heart of the Jedi hype started to die down, he was talking about there being, like, fake prints coming out after the fact that people were mm. trying to sell for, you know, like, $400, something crazy. You know, Yeah, on eBay. Yeah. People were printing out with Lulu and saying it was the yeah, Amazon yeah. release. Yeah, That's something I really wanted to get my hands on, actually. I thought it would be the coolest, most niche thing to be like, okay, yeah, I may have the actual Amazon copy, but, but I have... also have a fake print of the Amazon copy, on which eBay. was a fake print of the original limited time copy from Joe. Yeah. <laughs> like, I would love to have all three stages of that, but... You know, they're only being sold for $200, so I'm not going to pay $200 for a book I already own. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's three total copies, I guess, that if you think about it. There's the Lulu ones that Joe did in hardcover that, like, Matt and Chris got, but it was shut yeah. down after, like, 150 copies. Yeah, those are super limited. rare. Yeah. Like, we'll probably never get our hands on those because mm -hmm. I imagine the people who got them are serious collectors and won't let them go. Yeah. Then yeah. there's the Amazon ones, which we know there's thousands of. Because oh, like yeah, everyone was going so for many those. of them. Yeah, yeah. People are eating them up. Yeah. And then there's the everywhere. eBay ones that are slightly different yeah. you know, that started popping up. You know what I think is going to be interesting is like 20 years down the line when people's like there's going to be, you know, the niche parts of the EU community still around, you know, the yeah. final refugees of it are probably going to be spontaneously finding those in the libraries cuz in a lot of the Amazon reviews a lot of people were saying, I bought like five copies, bought 10 copies, and I donated them to my library. That was a really common thing that I saw mm. people were doing in the Amazon reviews and in a couple of discords I was in. That people were just being, 
good EU Samaritans, really, and just throwing yeah. them at libraries, get multiple copies. Because they were you were just paying for the printing. It was like ten bucks just for the printing. Yeah. And in the description, he said he was making no profit from it. Mm -hmm. oh, there was my dog. Yep. yep. That that's really interesting. I would love to go to a library and just see Heart of the Jedi in there. That would be so cool. Yeah. So that makes it a lot more exciting for me, knowing that they're just in circulation out there. Yeah. As well, like it's not Absolutely. just in people's collections for who know it, who knew it. Eventually, they're like they're also out there in the wild. Eventually, you can find libraries. them at like secondhand bookstores at like yeah, Goodwill yeah. or like it'll or be definitely a very rare thing. Because, you know, it still it was a relatively small thing. You know, it, it was mm -hmm. big for the EU community, but oh yeah, the EU community is not as huge as it used to be, unfortunately. So, yeah, like, but that's going to be wild. If I ever see that in the wild, I'm taking it. That'll be my part three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. absolutely. Three. Absolutely. Like, look, it's got a little library barcode on it. <laughs> you know, somebody bought it and donated it. Yeah. Cool, that's a little cool. bit of EU history that you'll ever see. <laughs> oh, for sure. Um, maybe one day there will be lots of Stephen King Jedi search copies oh, materializing. Yeah, hopefully. I think that would be really cool, actually, getting to the bottom of how that even happened. So that's a very particular half and half case. For sure. I I don't even know how you'd go about trying to figure out how that happened. There but, probably is no way. Yeah, <laughs> it probably just has to like blow up one day, and then some guys like, oh hey, I was actually in charge of the Bantam printum. You know, yeah, this is this is my I, story. Like, someone's like, I was a Star Wars fan. I was a Stephen King fan. Yeah. What goes better together? I decided to slap I did together this intentionally to make a yeah. political point. You know? <laughs> yeah. He's like, I made ten volumes. Yeah. Um, kept one for myself. Yep. yep they're worth a whopping five dollars. You, know? <laughs> you know, really get it for your collection. You know? Yeah, one cent extra for twenty-four pages of King. Yep. <laughs> I have a but, couple variants. They vary, page twenty-five, page twenty-four. You know. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Of we'll course. Really make the you know influx the market with the variants. You know, make them yeah. worth it. You know. I mean, my personal copy was a thirty-page, but yeah. I didn't think anyone else was ready for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, I was did think about doing a real half and half. You know, fifty, fifty, full. <laughs> on, but I thought that would just be going overboard. You know, but I might get caught if I do that. That yeah. would water. That would water down the glory of Ander of Kevin J. Anderson's work. Really, it really would, really would, you know. I know we're all trying to help out this new writers here, but we can only go mm -hmm. so far before the book suffers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think my wife's aunts have arrived, so that is okay. my cue to leave. Thank you so much for yeah. doing this with me, my friend. Uh, and you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, um, yeah. I am, think it's just called Granny Toes right now, yeah. Just Granny Toes. Uh, there's nothing uploaded on it. I'll eventually get to it. I just have yep. a very hectic work schedule, which makes me want to come home and just do nothing and hang out with the animals rather than actually do things I enjoy. That's Not very that I fair. Don't enjoy that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not wrong, but you get what I mean. Yeah, you get what uh, I mean. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So that'll be linked in the description. Uh, so go check it out for when he eventually uploads. And so thanks funny. so much for doing this with me. No problem. I'll do it again anytime. For sure. All right. Have a good one, guys.